Hey, so today is the day that I'm doing my tilt table test. Hi, my name is Kat. I'm pretty nervous. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to faint or um, how bad my symptoms are going to get. The reason we're doing the tilt table test is to clear me for my endoscopy. I have been diagnosed with POTS, you know, through a poor man's tilt table test, so this is to, I guess, confirm that and kind of give a better, kind of make sure that we understand that the reason my heart went all the way up to 227 was because of my POTS and not because of something else. We'll be able to better um, figure that out with a with an official tilt table test than a four man's table tilt table test you know when i was trying to get pots diagnosed i wanted a official tilt table test so i'm kind of glad that they're finally doing one i'm curious to what the results will be you know i think pots is going to come out of it but we'll see so we're on our way to my tilt table test it's going to be at the hospital i am a little nervous about the table test because a tilt table test that like a poor man's tilt table test takes about five ten minutes and I feel like crap and so I can't imagine how I'm gonna feel being strapped to a table for longer period of time and I also don't know how long or how fast they're gonna sit me up. I heard that people get you know their normal symptoms but they also can vomit. Um, I can vomit from how dizzy I get but it's I know I have to be very, very dizzy. Before I faint, I always have like a few, I guess you could call them blackouts, where I'm still conscious, but I'm blacked out and I can hear and I'm and everything. Um, so I'm hoping that just something like that will happen and I won't actually faint because fainting is very traumatic to me. Um, I always wake up and don't know where I'm at and it takes me a while to figure out what's going on. It's just not something that I wanna do. Hopefully we get the information we need with this um, table test and that I'll be able to finally be cleared for my endoscopy because we've been trying to get cleared for a while now. I'll update on when I get into the office because we're at the hospital now pretty much. Just pulling in. So I'm back from my tilt table test. I want to apologize if y'all can hear the trucks outside of the window, but the test went well. I don't feel as bad as I thought I was going to feel. I am a little, I am very confused by the test. POTS might have been a misdiagnosis, um, but I won't really know anything until I talk to the doctor. Everything is really confusing because they had two machines and one was reading one thing and one was reading the other thing and for some reason they weren't. They were using one machine for blood pressure and one machine for heart rate. And the machine they were using for blood pressure apparently had an off heart rate, but the one that they were using for my heart rate was correct, they said. But the problem is, the one that they said was wrong was going up really high like I normally am, but the one that they said was correct was really low. And so I'm confused why they didn't have both machines um, synced up correctly and I'm confused about what's wrong with me you know if I don't have pods what is it I'm frustrated and annoyed and hopefully the doctor is able to see me before we leave just kind of depends um, my IV is hurting pretty bad so I'm hopefully I'm hoping that they'll let me take it out soon. I'm going to ask in a little bit. During the test, you know, they had me sit up in the, on the little table they strapped me down to. And then after that, they gave me this kind of nitrate pill. And that made me feel really bad. I didn't like that at all. Um, it kind of burned a little bit and didn't taste very good. But this taste didn't stay in your mouth, which was good. So, um, the IV's down there. You can't really see it because of my thing but it hurts, so I'm gonna see if they'll take it out. I'll update you when I talk to the doctor or when I get home.
So I'm back home. I've been home for a while, but I had to charge my phone and um, I decided to eat. I noticed right before I was going to turn the camera on that I still had like the little, here, these things on. I have two on still. They had so many on me today. I don't know why they needed so many on, but I couldn't feel them on me, but I'm going to check myself again to make sure I don't have any more on. But, um, I took a while to kind of process everything. I was misdiagnosed with POTS, so as of now, I am undiagnosed even further than I was previously. My wheelchair prescription says I have POTS. That was the big thing that was going to help me get the wheelchair. And I don't even have that anymore. The JRA might help a little bit. But Pretty much everything on that thing is mo is mostly wrong because they don't have seizures. They said possible seizures, and what else did they put on the wheelchair form? The pots and a bunch of other things. I kind of feel fucked. I had a small fear, a very very small fear that this was going to happen. I never thought I was going to be, going to feel as fucked to the extent that I am feeling like I am now, though, because I assumed that if it is not POTS, if he decides to take, say that it's not, he, we don't think it's POTS, you know, because it, it doesn't show it, then I would assume that something else would have come up, but nothing come up. So he's like, it's not POTS because here's your readings. And he couldn't explain to me why there was two monitors and one was right and one was wrong um, separately. Like this, let's see if this, I'm using a tripod, let's see if it'll stay up on my lap. Okay, so like this monitor monitors your heart and your blood pressure. And it does the EKG thing. Okay. And it was correct on... Everything was accurate except for the bl mo except for the blood pressure. And then the one on top up here, you know, was wrong for your heart rate, but accurate for your blood pressure. And this one down here was the one that they were using for my heart rate. So my question is... How do they know that the blood pressure thing is accurate if the heart thing's not accurate? Why are they using a machine that is not, that isn't fully accurate? And during the whole test, the EKG thing stickers were not working. They were having to re-put new ones on and stick them on. And I'm like, is it just me or does this always happen? I'm like, oh no, it always happens. I'm like, well, don't y'all think y'all should figure out why? Like, do y'all even know if y'all are giving accurate shit here? I didn't say that, but I was fucking thinking it. So, I don't know what to go, how to go off on this. I don't know how to think. I'm confused about the whole machines and how they worked. The doctor kind of didn't seem very knowledgeable about POTS because he said that it's a 40 beats up increase when you stand up I'm like no it's 30 and he's like okay yeah it's 30 but even so it would have to stay 30 beats up I'm like no it doesn't I've done enough research and he's like and then and it just seems that every single different doctor thinks POTS is a little bit different and it's frustrating and I know what the diagnostic stuff is because I've looked it up and online it's the same. I don't understand why there are so many different doctors with different ideas of the criteria for POTS. And um, today, it did not show that it had POTS on the heart rate monitor that they were doing below. The heart rate monitor above was going crazy high. 
and stuff like my normal numbers are. So I gotta, I don't know. I don't think I wanna do a second opinion because I really don't wanna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I asked him, I'm like, where do we go from now? And he's like, well, I don't know, but it's not your heart. That's what he said to me. Very helpful, right? You know, we thought the movements were myoclonic jerks, and now we're thinking they're ticks. Possibly, you know. And that, you know, the myoclonic jerks was a misdiagnosed symptom. And now the pot diagnosis that made so much sense to me. It's like I have heat intolerance, cold intolerance, I crave salt. I don't feel good without eating salt. If I don't drink a bunch of freaking Gatorade, I'm extremely, extremely dizzy. It just makes sense. But, like, as the ER, I mean, the hospital nurse when I was in for the E, what, I can't remember today. I'm, my mind's, my mind's crap. But, um, the nurse with the wire shit, um, told me that POTS doesn't have you be as dizzy and off and um, balanced. My balance is off. And normally that's not an issue, apparently. So, you know, I'm not, I don't, I want to make it clear that I don't care what I have. I just want to know what the f hell it is. I want to know why I'm fainting. I want to know why I feel like crap every day. I feel like every single time I get close to something and I think I've gotten an answer, they take it away from me. Um, in this part of the, in this part of the, I guess my diagnosis process, it sucks. Misdiagnosis shouldn't happen in my opinion. I don't understand why it happened. I don't understand why my other tilt table tests came back positive for it. So I don't know where to go at this point. I guess I'm still seeing my neurologist, obviously, but like she hasn't been very helpful. Really nobody's been very helpful. We have all these ideas of what it could be but no real answers and I'm just really frustrated what's causing my heart rate to go up during the times it does go up and I just I have so many questions not knowing what's wrong with you is fucking scary and it makes me mad that I keep going and spending all this money or I'm not even spending my money my parents are doing this I feel guilty. And when you keep going to the doctor constantly and you keep getting all these tests and they tell you they're normal, they're normal, they're normal, it makes you feel crazy. It makes you question yourself. I just want a diagnosis so I can start treatment, so I can start feeling better. Just a little bit better because this is not acceptable to feel this shitty every day. So... I really don't know what to say. I don't know how to think. I don't know what to think. I'm, I just feel very screwed. We're in my garage now, and I wanna show you the kitties. This is the boy. We have one boy. Look at their tail. Oh, aren't they cute? I thought this would be better to end off the video with cute kitties than me talking about how I'm sad that I don't know what's wrong with me because kitties are life, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. Uh-huh. They make me feel better. Yeah. Don't you make me feel better? Yeah. That's what your job is. Your job is to make people feel better. 
It's just to be cute and sit on couches and make messes and meow and yeah. Uh-huh. You're just supposed to be cute. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Isn't they cute? Oh, they all have blue eyes. Can you believe it? Oh. Hi, baby. Hi. This is the last one. Oh, you're so cute. What are you saying? Oh, really? You're very passionate about that, aren't you? Very passionate. Oh, do you want to go back on the floor? Mama's not happy. Mama's not happy at all. Oh. Oh, no. You're okay, Mama. Oh, don't hiss. You're okay. I made Mama happy. I made Mama mad. Hi, baby. Look at this one. My tripod keeps twisting. Look! Hi! I know, Mama. Mama's under there. Do you see her? She's feral. So that's why she's growling. Or whatever you call that. Look at their little toes. Look at that. You're cute. You're all cute. So this is a girl, 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 boy. But that's all for today. I'm going to update y'all next time I go to the doctor or um, whenever my next video I have planned is up. But, um... I'm going to play with these kittens and make myself feel better because kittens are life. Aren't they? Yeah. Y'all are so cute. But thanks for watching. Bye. Key wave.